Here we have some sentences on the board. We shall underline the verbs and find out how these verbs are finite. Your sister is learning German is the first sentence. Now here the verb is is learning. We shall place this verb there in that column. Is learning. Now the finite verb is is because in learning we have that ing form. So for finite verb we write is. Is learning tells us that this is has been used for third person singular number because sister is just one. Therefore, for sister we have used is and the person is third singular she and we we'll write here your sister. The tense, because it is, is learning, therefore the tense is present continuous. When we come to the second sentence, we have, I was hiding behind that tree. Here, the verb is was hiding. This was has been used because the subject is I. I subject is the first person and in singular number. So we write here was hiding. And the finite verb is was because ing form is in this and in this verb too. Therefore, ing form verb is not to be considered as a finite verb. Therefore, was has been shifted over here under this column finite verb. And was has been used with I, which is first person, singular number, and the tense is past continuous. After that, we come to the third sentence. You are reading the newspaper. Here the verb is are reading. And are reading has been used with the subject you. With this you we use are and you is the second person. So we write over here second person. For singular, we use you and for plural to, we use you. And the verb is are reading. So we write the verb here as are reading. Here again we see that ing form has been used. Therefore, are is to be placed under finite verb because R tells us that it has been used along with you. And the tense 
is present continuous. With that, we come to the fourth sentence. 